Hello Year 9 and welcome to the GCSE History Virtual Open Evening. Myself, Mrs Hassan and Mrs Chambers will be taking you through our PowerPoint presentation, um, advertising our course for the GCSE um, curriculum. So, why should you choose to study history at GCSE? Well, it's useful in two key ways for helping us understand about our world that we live in today and to help us understand the people that make up our communities. Firstly, let's explore how it expands our knowledge of our world. It's so important in helping us understand about the world we live in today. You can't understand the people if you don't appreciate their past. You can't understand the community that you live in if you don't understand how the community came about to exist in the first place. You cannot understand our nation without an understanding of the history that created the nation that we know today. And you can't understand the world that you live in if you do not understand the history that made the world as it is. Furthermore, history also helps us understand the people that we live with and are amongst us in our community. As people make up society, it is very difficult to test how different kinds of groups behave when it is made up of 7 billion different people. However, if we look at specific events in history, we can use it as a social laboratory um, as one of the few ways that we can predict the future behaviours of such large groups of people. History is an important subject which enables its students to better understand and appreciate the world in which we live in. It provides a set of skill sets which can be put to good use for any number of jobs in the future. These skill sets can be categorised into these four hats. The skill sets related to detective, being able to separate truth from fiction from any historical context that we cover. The, uh, the hat of the storyteller, being able to impart lessons, morals, a, an understanding of what is right and what is wrong. The judge hat, deciding what needs to be emulated, meaning means to be put to the fore, um, and what should actually be discarded or put to put aside because it's not as important. And finally, the philosopher hat, being able to reflect and ponder important questions and speculate on the past and its impact in our um, to the future. So, if you are willing to put the four hats of history on and attempt to understand the past in analytical and exciting ways, then GCSE history could be just a subject for you. History at GCSE covers four units of study. They are medicine in Britain, from the medieval period right up until the present time, Henry VIII and his ministers, from the period of 1509 to 1540, covering specifically his relationship with Wolsey, Cromwell, and a focus also on the English Reformation. We then turn to American West and um, looking at the relationship between um, the Native Americans, the Plains Indians, uh, in that, uh, with respect to the topic and the white Americans. And finally, we look at Weimar and Nazi Germany within the interwar period. So that's from 1919 to 1939. Papers in which you will cover for this GCSE course are threefold. So you've got paper one, which is only medicine in Britain. This takes this is thirty percent of your overall grade and is a one hour and fifteen minute written exam. Paper two encompasses both Henry VIII and his ministers and the American West. Each topic or each unit rather is 20% of your overall grade, so 40% in total. They will be sat on the same day, same paper, and will take uh, an hour and 40 minutes total. Weimar and Nazi Germany makes up paper three. This, just like paper one, is also 30% of your overall grade and will be one hour and 20 minutes in a written exam setting. The beauty of studying history at GCSE is that it does not limit you to one single career path. Due to a varied set of skills that you adopt through studying history, 
your option of careers are widened. Through historical study, you will have gained the ability to engage in analytical writing, debating topics of interest, key detective skills and a keen passion for learning. A wide range of employers really value these skill sets and a large proportion of adults who study history at school end up in jobs revolving around politics, marketing, business ventures, journalism, teaching and curation. However, history does not limit you to these careers only as you will have built up a wide range of transferable skills that are truly valued by a large number of employers. If you have any questions with regard to the GCSE course or anything that you wish to have clarified, please do not hesitate to contact either one of the history teachers at the department. So you can contact Ms. Chambers, myself, Mrs. Hassan, or Mrs. Francis in the email with the email addresses listed here.